Hey everybody, welcome back. You want to hear something absolutely ridiculous? It's 2 a.m. and I just woke up. <laughs> There's a reason for that. Uh, we're actually going to be going snowboarding today. So I went to bed at 8 p.m. and I thought I'd get some good sleep, you know? And four hours later at 12, I woke up and I rolled around and could not get back to sleep. So here we are at uh, 2 a.m., an hour before my alarm was supposed to go off. Because we got a four hour drive to the mountains today. And on that drive, we're actually going to be uh, checking out some Walmart, see if we can find some Lego at rollback prices. And now I've got an hour before I even have to start getting ready to go snowboarding. Because we're going to Jasper, it's four hours away. But I figured, why not spend some time in the Lego room at 2 in the morning? <laughs> so let's, uh, let's build something. Recently, we decided that we're going to be switching to a Mills Plate system. And these are the roads for that Mills Plate system. So this is a straight road. And you can see on the sides of the road, we need to build some extra panels using brick, plate, and tile. So I've pulled... All the brick plate and tile that I need so I can start prefabricating some of these little panels or rows of bricks and plates right here on the side so that when we get more road plates and more base plates those are ready to go so that's what I'm gonna be building this morning something simple but something that needs to be done and why not do it bright and early here before we go boarding it's gonna be so fun so in this vlog yeah building some Lego Checking out some Lego shopping destinations and doing some snowboarding. Fired up. Real fired up. I can't wait to drive some coffee into me and get on the road. But if we get on the road now, we'll be way too early. Speaking of roads, let's build some roads. I just hit myself in the head. Bonk. <laughs> let's build some roads, though. All right. So you can see that we built 10 sections there. We've got them all connected. That's one of them right there. 32 minutes to build 10 of them. And we're using all small pieces. 1x2 tile, 1x2 brick, 1x4 plate. Because we found all of those pieces on the pick-a-brick wall. Converting to a mill system is definitely going to help reduce the amount of parts in our bins. I don't know if that's a good thing or a bad thing. But any parts that are not in use should be in use. You know what I mean? They should go toward creating a better Lego City, so we're excited to use all of these parts, in particular all of our green plate and stuff like that. I can't wait to start messing around with Mills plates with all of our green pieces and green plate so that we can start making a landscaping system out of, not roads of course, but out of this. Just because I think we're going to be able to do a lot of cool stuff. I've, I've got a lot of ideas coming here. Uh, just involving different plate work, different levels of plate, different levels of brick to create some really cool paths and rivers and creeks and ponds and all sorts of different cool stuff with the landscaping system. So, yeah, I've just been thinking about it. It's all I've been thinking about for the last, well, not all I've been thinking about, but I've been thinking about it a lot over the last uh, little while here. And we're really excited to move forward with this. Uh, we're excited to go snowboarding too though. I better go get ready for that as well. Uh, can't let time get away from me here because we still got to make our way to Jasper. Check out some Walmarts and uh, think about ooh, mills while we're snowboarding. <laughs> There's the catchphrase of the day. Oh, we can't let time get away from us. It's, it's 2.38 in the morning, Jordan. I'm pretty sure we got lots of time. This is yesterday's coffee. We better brew some new coffee. All right, well, I guess I got time to finish last night's editing. It's time to get ready to depart, shower up, get ready to go boarding. If you ate processing videos, building Lego, drinking coffee at 3 in the morning, then where the heck you at? <laughs> well, now we're going snowboarding. That's where the heck we're at. I was just emptying my pockets. Look what I just pulled out. A sand green trophy figure. What's that doing in there?
at Marmot Basin here in Jasper, ripping some good runs here. We actually just hiked from the knob chair up here. There's a huge bowl right here. It's essentially straight down, but this is where you're gonna find the best snow on the mountain. Woo, way at the top though. Cloudy day, but it's snowing. Look at the size of this cookie. Holy smokes. Check out those bad boys.
All right, we made it safely to the Walmart here in Hinton, Alberta. And look at that. We can even get our uh, photos developed in an hour. Not bad, Walmart. All right, so let's see what it's all about. We got some 501st battle packs here. I heard those were retiring. Is that a thing? I actually see some rollback prices, but unfortunately most of them are gone. We've got Duel on Mandalore and also the Micro Fighter. I like this set right here, actually. You get two minifigures in there, including Captain America. Surprised I haven't got that yet. What is it, 1386 for the two figures? I've seen these on sale before. Up here we've got uh, Trouble on Tatooine. Oh, the Batmobile. The AAT. I love this set here. I built that recently. It's pretty sweet. We've got some moldy sets over here. These things are rotting on the shelf. Not a bad price though. It was $16.97. And now it's nine dollars but video i think is done right like they're not making any more video sets i don't think we got some new friend stuff here the uh tree house some more stuff that was on sale what was that for 19 dollars whoops jungle rescue oops i'll fix that in a second here and then uh with the supra the new Speed Champions, those were announced the other day. Hey, you see those? They look fresh, man. They're looking sweet. You got some classics on sale. Hey, there's, the, oh, cool. I'm gonna buy that. <laughs> I'm gonna buy the chicken stunt guy. I saw it at Walmart before. I don't think I've ever seen it at the Lego store, though. So I'm gonna get that. Holy smokes, this would have been a deal. 50 bucks. Oh, that's Haggard's Hut. Regular 80 bucks. If that was here, I would have bought it for sure. Haggard's Hut comes with some good figures and some good, uh, good pieces, too. Like, I really like the, the buck beef that you get in it, right? Oh, is this a new city set? That can't be in the right spot. What was $50? What was that? Uh, police. That can't be in the right spot. I wonder if that's it. No, there's no way that was $50. That's a cool set, though. That's new, eh? Comes with a rookie. And video. Oh, that's a cool minifigure. He's got, like, the black eye. Or is that black eye? I don't even know. He just got like some bags under his eyes. That's actually a really cool set. Look at his little craft there using the barrels. That must have been a, a January release, hey? Then we got some Mario stuff on sale here. Once again, sort of getting moldy on the shelf. And then the new, uh, the new Mario line here as well. Oh, and there's a stunt bike up top here. Another new set right here. I love the minifig names. Pretty awesome, but I'm glad I got the the chicken suit guy. That's good. That's a good find. At least I'll get something. If they had road plates, I would get those as well. Just because we're starting to build those mills plates and be nice to get some more packs of those. But I mean, in general, not much happening here at Walmart lately. I've noticed that with the Walmarts in town too, like in Edmonton, not much happening there either. Like not much new stuff. Not very many rollback prices, and when there are rollback prices, the stuff's usually sold out or it's on some stuff that's got mold on it. But yeah, I got the chicken suit. Stoked about that. Snowboarding day two. Wow, we got a big dump of snow last night. There's gonna be some fresh powder out there. Woohoo!
here's my favorite run on this entire mountain. It's Eagles East, double blacks. Woo! It's gonna be a lot of fun. Beautiful mountain on the way out. Looks like it's gonna be uh, quite the ride home. Highways look a little bit icy, don't they? <laughs> Ice Road Trucker Brixie here reporting in. All right, let's say hello to the dogs. Look who's home, puppy dogs. Hi, hello. Hello. How are ya? You excited? Oh, oh yes, yep. Very exciting. Hello, buddy. Hello. How's it going, Stel? Oh. Hey. hey, boy, I know you're excited. Hello. Hello. Hello, Hello Luna. Tigo. Butthead. So now that I'm home, Gonna watch the hockey game, that's convenient that it's on. Oilers are one four in a row, going for five in a row tonight. Got it recording right now. So that's excellent. And then of course, we're gonna build, boom, the chicken stunt bike. And see what this guy can do. All right, so we got the chicken stunt bike guy here. Look at him. He's all scared. He's got his chicken helmet on. His shirt there says, Egg Stream. And look at the print detailing on the bike. It's got the egg on the headlight spot. That's neat. And then, of course, on the back, he's got the little chicken butt or chicken tail. He's almost wearing, like, a muscle shirt. And he's got an alternate face and a hairpiece as well. And you can see that his headpiece actually has some sideburn print detailing on it as well. And the best part about it, of course, is you can wind it up. You actually pull it forward like this. And then... He'll go. <laughs> All right, dude, let's see what you got going on here. <laughs> it's actually cool. It's not wind up, it's like push forward. Oh! <laughs> oh, that's pretty cool. It's like this really cool motion on the back tire. It just keeps going and going. This is my first stunts product, so I, I, don't, I don't know much about it. Let's see if you can go the distance here. Away he goes! Away into the distance! <laughs> well, I'm sure there's all sorts of different things that we could do with the stunt bike. I love the motorcycle, it's great. He'll be present in the city for sure. Uh, I like it. He can actually go uphill and, and, and hit a jump. So not bad. He seems to like our new road plates. <laughs> not bad at all. Pretty cool little set. Worth the pickup. So there we go, everybody. Hope you enjoyed our little vlog here where we uh, went snowboarding. That was a blast. Had a good time. Didn't capture all the footage. Obviously, I didn't film every single run that I went on. So just filmed a few runs and shared it with you there. And then we built the chicken bike guy. And now I'm going to go finish watching hockey and edit this video. Thank you so much for popping on by. Remember to like, subscribe, and stay tuned. Farewell.